Hey guys, happy Saturday. How are you? It is freezing or close to freezing here in Chicago. It is uh, October 17th and I am um, getting ready to do my workout. As you can see, I've got my workout clothes on, but it's freezing, which is why I have like six different layers on here. Um, welcome to um, freezing in Chicago. Yeah, we had our first freeze last night. So um, I think we're going to be heading into consistent fall weather now, fall and winter. Usually up until o end of October, you still get the times when it can go back to like in the 90s in Chicago. And, you know, it, it makes dressing to go out really difficult because you can, you know, sometimes I would go out for church and I'd have long sleeve and a, and a jacket on. And by the time I get out of church, it's sunny and like 82 degrees and you just never know how to dress. And at the risk of sounding too whiny, it is very annoying. But anyway, I digress. I have just a little bit of time today and I hope to shoot like three or four more, maybe, you know, in the future, my videos are all gonna be titled, they're gonna be topiced. Um, some of these will just be simple check-in videos with you guys, um, like today. So I wanted to just check in with you guys, let you know what's up, that it's Saturday, I'm getting ready to leave for Phoenix tomorrow, and from the 18th through the 23rd, I will be out in the middle of nowhere in Arizona and Utah, and I'm so excited about this. We're gonna be going out there. There's about 15 of us total, um, but there's three other wonderful women um, that have some uh, really fantastic, like I would say, networks, communities. Um, one of them is, well, I'll introduce them later. It's going to be on my blog, it's gonna be on my videos and whatnot, but we're all going out with Corning Gorilla Glass, which is, if you don't know it, Gorilla Glass, are the wonderful people that make this stuff tough as nails, right? Um, on my Samsung phones, which you know I have um, two Samsung Galaxy Notes. Um, I've got the Samsung Galaxy Tablet. Um, yeah, that's what I've got. And then I just got the Samsung Galaxy Edge phone um, right before we're going out on the trip. So I'll be getting to, getting to know that one as well. Um, but we're heading out, we're gonna go visit four different locations while we're out there. Now, because of the, I'm told, the internet connectivity, and even when we're gonna be back at the, our hotels at night, it's we're in areas where even, God bless Verizon, might have a challenge reaching us. So I don't know when you're gonna hear from me, but just know that I'm going out on what I think is just an opportunity of a lifetime. We are going to get to see, um, we're gonna be like taking bike, uh, you know, 10 mile bike rides over really rough terrain to go see some of the these um, amazing, like, I mean, just outstanding, I'm trying to say it the right way, um, Indian reservations, um, you know, ruins. I know one of them is called the Betakin Ruins. We're gonna be in slot canyons. We're gonna be just all over. And I can only imagine the like photography I'm gonna have coming back from this trip. Not only from, take it from my um, phones and my camera, but from the other people. And then we're also gonna have a videographer and I believe a professional photographer out there as well. A guy who sells his work, he's extraordinary. So I am, so excited, not only from the adventure part of it, um, the physicality, um, you know, obviously it's gonna be awesome to be hiking and biking throughout, you know, these, these beautiful areas, but then seeing these historical um, areas, for lack of a better term, historical locations. I'm a history freak, I majored in history, um, history of art and history in, uh, at Ohio State. So anything like this just brings out the archeology span nerd in me, the history nerd in me, the Discovery Channel nerd in me, you name it. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. Um, please tune in if you can to my um, social channels. We'll get out some of the sneak, pre sneak peeks, excuse me, um, and content for you guys while I'm out there. And then of course the week after, that's when we'll probably download all of the, um, you know, photography and be able to put it up on my blog and so on. That said, the other reason that I've been so kind of frenetic with my posting on YouTube in particular, I know that I've started per your requests my YouTube friends, but also my Periscope people that have, have discovered me on Periscope said, please make sure you when you can upload your Periscope sessions to YouTube so we can watch them there when we missed it. At first I didn't want to do that because I thought so many of these are half an hour, 45 minutes, um, but you guys have asked for it. So I am uploading those. I don't want to do them all at once. So we'll catch up on those Periscope videos and I'll only put maybe the, the ones that I think are really, 
really good. I mean, I think they're all good, but the best ones. Um, so I'll put those up there. And then I will be shooting three or four videos today before I leave. Again, the new, the new improved Kelly Alexa and, and my vlogs are now going to be more uh, condensed, more on a specific topic. That way you can scroll through, watch the ones that are relevant to you. Like, for example, I know a lot of men that watch me on YouTube, you probably might not want to watch the updates on things like bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, yada, yada, yada. Some people follow me more for business advice and entrepreneurial advice now. They might want to just tune into those versus these specific fitness things. So today's video will just be an update. I'm already at five minutes, so I want to wrap it up pretty soon and just give you a little bit. Again, I wanted to let you know, number one, where I am where I'm going to be, so the 18th through the 23rd, um, be a little bit out of pocket. Angie, my wonderful goddess assistant, is going to be you know, uploading and, and um, publishing a lot of stuff uh, while I'm gone, uh, so you'll be able to see some of that. And then I'm also staying in Phoenix for another week, but back in the land of the living, I'll be staying with Whitney. Uh, we'll be doing some co-periscopes together. She doesn't know that yet, but we will be. Um, I'll be shooting some videos with her. I'm seeing my doctor while I'm out there. I'm also going to be going to um, a business event with Allie Brown for two days. So excited uh, to meet her and to be a part of that as well. Um, so then I'll be back on the 30th. I'm back on two days. Then I head to New York. Then I'm back for a week after the end of that week. And then I head to Boston, and then it's Thanksgiving, and then I think I head to D.C. and Baltimore. So really crazy next whatever as we head into the holidays. But I am all over it, and I can handle it. So let me wrap up today by saying I've told you what's going on. Um, a little bit other, a, a little bit just referencing behind the scenes of what's also been going on is in the next two weeks, my blog, my website, kellyalexa.com, complete new revamped overhaul. We're getting all of that seven years of content moved over from Squarespace to WordPress. Um, that's going on as we speak. This wonderful, wonderful woman, Michelle, is doing that for me. Um, I have no idea what that means, or but she's just doing it. So we'll be on WordPress and then we'll have a completely new um, look and feel from a new designer. I can't wait. So all of my stuff is going to look really cool and neat and I can't believe I just said neat. I hate that word. Um, I'm just nerdily excited about all this stuff. Stuff I never did when I started blogging seven years ago. So I'm really, really finding a lot of fun in it. Um, kind of like I've become this data nerd in my personal life tracking my fitness. I've become this financial nerd who's tracking my budget and my financial goals. And I'm really enjoying all of this stuff. Speaking of that, I'm going to wrap up with some fitness technology and also fitness slash social media technology that I've got here on my counter as I'm getting ready to pack. So all of you guys that have been watching me for a long time know I have been using Polar heart rate monitors. Of course, I used to always say Polar, but they say it Polar, so I'm just putting that out there. I've used Polar heart rate monitors, so sorry, I go back and forth. I say Polar, I say Polar. I've been using Polar heart rate monitors since 2007 when my favorite trainer, my favorite first trainer, Jay, um, insisted that I have to have a heart rate monitor because, you know, at that point I understood the, with clarity why you can't just rely on an infomercial telling you that if you do this class it's going to burn a thousand calories or you can't rely on the treadmill at the gym if you put in your age and your weight how many calories you're burning. It's a total difference when you have a heart rate monitor that is linked to your actual heart and, is that even the right side? Yeah, that's my heart. <laughs> I was like, okay, wait. Just delete that part. Anyway, when you have a heart rate monitor that's measuring your activity, then you can get a better grasp on what you've actually done, what your caloric burn, burn is, etc. I am really excited because, as you know, like I said, I've been using polar heart rate monitors, but more so the ones that were designed for, you put them on when you work out, you take them off when you're finished. And they always have the heart strap, right? Some people love heart straps, some people hate them. I've tried some other brands that don't have the heart rate uh, strap, and what I have found, even with some of the trackers, they, they died, and I'm happy to review those on, on, um, in another. If anybody wants to ask me, what was your experience with this or that? Um, there, I've tried a couple. What I will tell you is one of the last activity trackers that I tried that was supposed to be great, and um, it just it died after 30 days. 
was not tracking anything. I don't have time for that, okay? I'd rather pay more as a consumer for something that's gonna work and be reliable than to pay, you know, say $40 and pay less for something that is completely useless and I threw it away in 30 days. And that's just the God's honest truth. So what I'm excited about with this, oh gosh, it's 10 minutes. What I'm excited about with this, this is the Polar A300. Number one, here's what I want you guys to do. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, do yourself a favor. This will be a, a, like a treat. If you're like me and you love previews when you go to the movies, go to polar.com and start looking. They have these amazing videos that they've made to show why you would buy this mod, why you'd buy, you know, what this one is all about, the types of uh, benefits and features that this model has versus the A400 or versus, you know, the Polar Loop or whatever. I, the videos were what got me excited because to me, it's one thing to read like A300 does this, does this, does this. When you see it and you see the types of things that it will track and how you wear it, I got so excited. And furthermore, the other cool thing is you'll see this on the website. You can switch out these bands so I can take this inside heart rate monitor, which is actually a life tip, life tivity? life life tracker hello um, I can pull this out and replace it with pink or yellow or black so that's cool or white I picked blue because I've always done pink or black in everything and I'm kind of over that um, so what I like about this and I just set it up today this is the a300 you wear it all day it tracks your activity and then when you my understanding is when I'm gonna do my workout which will be now just like I used to I will put the heart rate monitor on to really track, you know, the, the caloric burn and, and also what I'm doing with my weight training. So I'm going to put this back on, but you leave this on and it also tracks your sleep. So I'm really excited too, and I'll have this on me while I'm out in Arizona to see what kind of uh, activity I get, you know, um, and how it picks up things like when you're biking, it's waterproof. Um, we'll be going through a lot of water areas and so on and so forth. So I'm excited to take this with me. That's technology number one. Technology number two, which I believe is such a nice compliment to this. The folks from Sculpt, S-K-U-L-P-T, um, sent me this thing, which I think is so cool. And you guys know, with, with Fitfluential, we hear about the latest and greatest, you know, apparel, events, technology, you name it, for fitness all the time. It takes a lot for me to go, wow, I haven't seen anything like that. I had not seen anything like that with this sculpt. And what it is, as you can see here, this measures your, the first true, well, the, I don't wanna say it's the first true fitness tracker, um, but what I think this is is the first tracker that I have seen anything like this where you, it will measure your body fat. So you, my understanding is you put it, um, and I'm gonna measure myself today and then track it over the next several months. You put it up against your skin, I believe on your arm, on your legs, and maybe on your core, and it actually measures your body fat and the change in body fat percentage, your lean body mass. Um, I haven't seen anything else like this on the market, so I'm very, very excited to, to try this. Also, you know, if you look up their website, I believe it is skulpt.co, not .com, uh, but you can also just Google and you'll be able to get right to the site. Um, there's a great video by Tony Horton, and you know, if in my opinion, if Tony Horton's standing behind something, um, you know, he doesn't just put his stamp on everything. So very excited to use this because right now the only way for me to check where my lean body mass is is for me to go to Lifetime Fitness and do an in-body test. I love that this can go with me wherever I'm going. So tune into my blog. I will do a separate update on this as well. Last thing is I've shared, shared this a lot with a lot of you. This is this new mini baby tripod for your phone. So if you guys are doing periscopes or you're shooting more video, maybe from your phone on the go, somebody, I think it was Janelle Summers actually told me about this, and I don't know if you can see, but this is where you would put your phone in, okay? And you can see I have it in landscape mode. Not many camcorders, so this is the camcorder, and of course you can expand this, but see how tiny and baby and cute it is? So I set this on my desktop, and that's how I do my periscopes, but the key for me is that this part tips over so that you can put your phone in landscape and portrait mode. Most of the cam, not camcorders, tripods that I had seen out there were only allowing you to shoot in landscape and I don't want to shoot in landscape. Most often I'm gonna to wanna to have 
my phone like this if I'm using my phone. So this bad boy is $8 on Amazon. There's a lot of similar ones that don't let you to do, excuse me, don't let you do the portrait. So if you want to do the portrait um, and you like this and you want something that's smaller to shoot with your phone and maybe capture, you know, workout moves when you're on the floor or whatever, email me and I will send you the link to Amazon so you can get this exact one. This was $8 and then I got a second one because somebody, I, I put this, this um, the link up in my Fit Financial Ambassador groups and like everybody was buying it. And then one of the girls had put up a link to this. So can you see that? This is an even smaller one. And this is how small the bag is, people. This lets you do your phone, but this lets you wrap it like around a tree or maybe the bottom of a table so that you can say you're in a hotel room and you wanna shoot a video or, or take a picture of a workout move for your blog or whatever. You can do this with this and even gives you even more flexibility than this. Now, I think if I'm correct, this was about $25. I'm happy to send you the link to that as well. And then I got this because although my Samsung phone has voice activation for the cameras, I find that it's a little bit up and down. And I just got tired of looking at my phone constantly going, cheese, cheese, cheese. And it was just, you know, so I, I got this as well. So email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I went way long on this video. I didn't plan to, um, but if you want links, um, I'll also, you know what I'll do? I'll link it up in the video below so that you guys don't have to email me for that. Um, but you can click on through to that and I'll place the link for Sculpt as well. I'll place the link for um, Gorilla Glass so you can check that out. And um, I hopefully we'll be able to post what our hashtag is so you can follow along with that because I'm also going to be sharing some amazing sweepstakes where you can win things like like a Samsung Galaxy Edge phone, something like that. You know, no big deal. So tune into that. I will see you guys tomorrow. I gotta go get my workout in. I'm excited to go test this out and see how we go from just tracking my walking around and my lifestyle activity right into workout, right into sleep. And I will share with you how I sync it on my phone and with polar.com, um, oh gosh, what's the uh, flow? Polar.com flow, that's where you track um, your activity online. So I will see you guys later. I got to quit babbling and get to work and I will um, touch base with you a lot more often going forward. I promise. Even though I've been saying that for a while, just bear with me. There's a lot of work we had to do behind the scenes and now it's all calming down. The dust is settling and we're just going to embrace and, and hang out a lot more often. I will see you guys soon.